in a recent publication in The Lancet, a meta-analysis of many of these uh, Crohn's disease tests in many laboratories mm, yeah. showed that there was a very significant and highly specific association between MAP infection and Crohn's disease. So what we now can say is that we know that the MAP bug is in our animals. We know that human populations are exposed to it. Now we know that most people with chronic inflammation of the intestine of the Crohn's disease type are infected with MAP, which is an established multi-host pathogen that is proved to cause chronic inflammation of the intestine in many different species, including primates. Now, how does the MAP bug cause Crohn's disease? It is very different from the way its cousin, tuberculosis, causes active tuberculosis. The MAP bug upsets the performance of the immunological system and it inflames nerves. Most animals with Yoni's disease, most people with Crohn's disease, but also we now know most people with irritable bowel syndrome have a chronic inflammation of the nerves of their gut and an immune dysregulation. So, this is a microscopical picture of the gut of an animal with Yoni's disease, and this is part of the nervous system yes. and it is surrounded by inflammatory cells. Uh, this is another picture of the same thing in animals. Nerve cells, an, an animal with Yoni's disease, mm. surrounded by inflammatory cells. This is the ganglion from the intestine of somebody with Crohn's disease and it's got an infiltration with inflammatory cells. Here is another picture of the same thing. A ganglion from the nervous system of the gut of a human and the nerves are chronically inflamed. This is a, a picture from Sweden of a person with irritable bowel syndrome. Now, and what it shows is nerve cells here with inflammatory cells around them. And these are the fibers. And the nerve cells yes. are attacking the person's, yes. the yes. immunological yes. cells are being attacked yes. by the person's own immune system. Yes. Now, irritable bowel syndrome is a condition which is reported to affect about 10% of the people, for example, in Europe and North America. From what we know of the wide exposure of human populations to MAP, mm -hmm. it is entirely consistent with the fact that it might be implicated in the, in the causation of irritable bowel syndrome as well as Crohn's disease, and particularly since the two conditions are related. And in London, we developed uh, methods for the detection of MAP bugs in people with IBS. T here stands for two biopsies from the terminal ileum or the lower end of the small gut. And B is the control, and then A is the ascending colon. And lastly, D is the descending colon and more controls. And then the positive control. Now here is this test applied to a normal person who doesn't have Crohn's disease or IBS. This is the positive control. If this person had a MAP infection, we would see black bands at this level here. But we don't see anything. By, on, by contrast, in the person with IBS, to complete this study, we teamed up with an excellent group of our friends and researchers uh, in the University of Sassari. And this is what we found, is that three quarters of people with IBS 
were infected with the mouse. This was very highly statistically significant compared to normal people. Once again, there was a very high incidence of detection of MAP in Crohn's disease, again with a very high statistical significance. And in ordinary language, what it meant was that if you had a MAP infection, you were 17 times more likely to get IBS than if you do, did not have a MAP infection. Now, if MAP is infecting almost everybody with Crohn's disease, and hides from the immune system, how does it cause Crohn's disease and indeed irritable bowel syndrome? And it does it because MAP dysregulates the immune system and inflames the fine structure and function of the enteric nerves of the gut. And the evidence for this is simple. It's most animals with Yoni's disease most people with Crohn's disease and most people with irritable bowel syndrome have chronic inflammation of the nerves of the intestine, chronic enteric neuropathy, and a, a local and general immune dysregulation. And this is the sort of thing we found. Here is the picture at endoscopy of the terminal ileum ascending colon and descending colon and of somebody with IBS and they are all look entirely normal. The panel below shows, however, that this person has an extensive MAP infection in all three regions of the gut sample. Through its immune dysregulation and its neurological damage, the MAP is causing IBS. Interestingly, <coughs> this is the DNA sequence of the portion of the MAP bug from people with IBS. And we found an anomaly here, which was also found in the sheep in Sardinia. And we also found that there was a significant association between MAP infection and the consumption of handmade cheese. More research is needed to confirm this association. So, MAP is causing Crohn's disease by immune dysregulation and the neuritis. And this diagram shows a cross-section of the gut. Acting together, the immune dysregulation and the neuritis make the lining of the gut shown here leaky. These symbols uh, indicate food residues, and these symbols indicate ordinary gut organisms like E. coli. And these enter the leaky gut and set up a chronic inflammation. So when we look at a piece of inflamed gut in Crohn's disease, it is not the map bugs that are primarily causing the inflammation. And the inflammation of this gross type is caused by the contents of the, of the interior of the gut soaking into the wall.